In this video, we're being asked to find the determinant of this matrix. So whenever you're trying to find the determinant of a matrix, you should always try to look for shortcuts. So one easy shortcut is if you have an entire row or column of zeros, then the answer is zero. In this case, uh, that's obviously not the case. So what else can we do? Well, if you can multiply a column by a number to get another column, then the answer is also zero. And it looks like the first column and the third column might be good candidates for this type of behavior. So let's think about it. What number can we multiply the first column by to get the second column? Well, negative 2. And let's check it. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So we can use negative 2 and multiply each entry in that first column to get the third column. So in this case, uh, the answer is just 0. I hope this video has been helpful.